Hello everyone. Today in this video we'll be discussing the next 20 questions that is from question number 21 to question number 40. We will discuss the solutions. So let's start. In question number 21 we were given, given the cost of a mobile phone is this much rupees. So we have to find the cost of 257 mobiles. So this is very simple. We just need to multiply this amount with 257 then we will get the cost of 257 mobiles so here I have shown the multiplication next in question number 22 all we need to do is we have to find the quotient and the remainder here we have to do the division and whatever we get in here that is the quotient and the remainder is at the below so this I guess you all know how to do the division Question number B, this is question number C, D and E and also there is F. Now moving on to question number 23. In question number 23 we are given the distance travelled by a plane and the time taken to, dis to travel this distance. So we are asked how much distance will the plane travel in one hour. So this is very simple. The total distance travelled by the plane divided by the total time taken by the plane will give us the distance traveled by the plane in one hour so this is simple division now moving on to question number 24 the cost of a fluorescent tube is 57 so how many tubes can be brought if we are given this much rupees so only thing we have to do is we have to divide this amount by 57 then we will get the number of tubes that we can buy if we are given this much amount of rupees so this is simple division that I have done. Now moving on. Here in question number 25, we have to find out the factors. So these are the factors of 48. 1, 2, 3, 4. So why these are the factors? As you can see here, if we we'll multiply these factors with a number, we will get the result as 48. So if we we'll multiply 1 with 48, we'll get 48. If we we'll multiply 2 with 24, we'll get 48. 3 with 16, we'll get 48. So these all 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, 24 and 48 are the factors. By multiplying these numbers with another number, we will get this 48. Similarly here also in 120, these are the factors. Now moving on, in question number 26, we have to find out the first 5 multiples. Multiples are very simple. The number that we are given, we have to just multiply it with the 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So this will be the first 5 multiples. So the answer that we get are the five, five, uh, first 5 multiples. Similarly here, you have to, these are the first 4 multiples of 18. Now the next question says, we have to find out the first 20 odd numbers. We know odd numbers, those numbers which are not divisible by 2 are called odd numbers. So these are the first 20 odd numbers. And the, all the even numbers between 70 and 90, we know even numbers are those numbers which are divisible by 2. So between 70 and 90, we will not include 70 and 90, but in between those which are the even numbers. Now prime numbers, we all know, here is a list given, but from here we have to find out which are the prime numbers. So prime numbers as we know are those numbers which have only one, which can be divisible you can say, either by 1 or by itself either by 1 or the number itself here you can see 2 is divisible by 1 and by 2 5 is divisible by 5 and 1 only not any other number so these are the numbers given in the list which are prime numbers now moving on we have to find out the hcf the full form of hcf is highest common factor so let us first find out the there are different techniques for finding out the hcf but here i have done the easiest one so First, let us find the factors. The factors of 32 are this. We have already discussed what are factors in the earlier questions. And the factors of 56 are this. So we have to find out which is the common factor. So these are the common factors. And among these, which is the highest? This 8. So the HCA will be 8. So by the definition itself, we got the highest common factor. This is the highest common factor. These are all the common factors. 1, 2, 4 and 8. But among this, it is the highest common factor. 
Similarly, in here also, in 90 and 105, we can do. Now, least, now next is, question number 30 is LCM. LCM full form is least common multiple. So, first of all, let us find the multiples. So, these are the some of the multiples. I have given here dotted because there are infinite number of multiples. You cannot say till 30 only there is, this is the multiple of 6. It can be more, it can be 36, even more than that. There are a lot of multiples, so I have given dotted. Just we need to find which is the least common multiple. So here the least common multiple is 24. As you can see, 24 is also here and also here. So, and these are not common. These things are not common. 24 is common and this is the first multiple that we get common. Whichever multiple you get first that is common is the LCM. Simple. Now moving on, question number 31. Here we are given to find some missing numerals. So how will you find the missing numerals? It is very easy. How I got 48 here? 9. How many times it will go to get us 27? 9 into 3. So here it is given 16. So just multiply 16 with 3, we will get 48. Similarly here also, 13. How many times will go? 78. We find that out. And that many times you multiply 9 also, we will get 54. 13, 6 are 78. So we have multiplied 9 also with 6, that is 9, 6 are 54. Simple. Here also 17 into 3 is 51. So 11 into 3 will be 33. Next, moving on, question number 32, we are given this 75 by 90. We have reduced it to simple form. I have divided this with 15. So 75, it goes by 15, 5 and 90, 15, 6. So I have reduced it to the simple form, 5 by 6. Now, we are given this numeral 15. What should be the denominator? Numerator is given 15. What should be the denominator? So that it becomes 5 by 6 of the order 5 by 6. So, this is 18 I have given because if you will uh, uh, cancel with uh, this by 3, it will be 5. Again with 3, I will cancel 18, we will get 6. So, we got this 5 by 6. So, whatever it may be, it should be of the order 5 by 6 because here we got 5 by 6. I hope you all have understood. Now, moving on, which is the smallest and which is the bigger, uh, largest number. So, since here the denominators are same, so very easy to find out, 8 will be the highest number, 8 by 9. Similarly, here also the, new, the denominators are same. Whenever the denominators are same, just you need to look is the numerators. Which numerator is greater and which is smaller. Then in that way, you can put the sign. But what if there is different denominators like this? In that case, what you have to do, you have to find, you have to make the denominators equal. How will you make the denominators equal? By, multi, by taking the LCM of the denominators. Here the LCM of 11 and 15 is 165. Here also I have made 165. Now just multiply with which number you have multiplied in the denominator. I multiplied with 11, so I have put here also 11. Here I multiplied with 15, so here also I have put 15. Now it is very easy to distinguish which is bigger. Obviously this is bigger. So 7 by 11 will be bigger, this number. Similarly, in this also, we, I have done this only. Now, ascending order. Here in ascending order also, it is very simple. If the denominators are same, then no need to look anything. Just you look the numerators. So, here 2 is smaller than 3, then 5, then 6. So, this is the ascending order. But what if the denominators are not same? If the denominators are not same, same thing. You have to take the LCM to make the denominators equal. Only then we can compare. Without making the denominators equal, we cannot compare the numbers. So here I have made the denominators equal. The, the LCM is 420. So after doing all this multiplication, what we have found is 1 by 7 is smaller than 1 by 5, then 1 by 4, then 1 by 3, then 1 by 2. 1 by 2 is the largest number here. Similarly, I have done here also the same thing. Now, next is this addition. In this addition one thing is very easy is that the denominators are same so since the denominators are same no need to see anything just multiply the numerators i have taken the denominator common 7 and then i have just add, added the not multiplied sorry added the uh, sum of the numerators so 3 plus 2 is 5 
Similarly, I've done here also the same thing. In the case of uh, difference or the subtraction also, it is same. All the denominators are same. So just you to uh, subtract the numerators. Now this, we have to convert to the fraction. This is in the mixed fraction. So we have to convert it into improper fraction. This is an improper fraction and this is a mixed fraction. So what you have to do is, how did I get this? 7 into 6, 42. 6, 42 plus 5, 47 by 7. In this way, we can get the other numbers as well. So the formula is very simple. You have to multiply this into this plus the numerator. Denominator into this plus the numerator. 8 nines are 72 plus 3, 75 by 8. Understood? Now this we have to convert to the mixed fraction. This is in the improper fraction. We have to convert to the mixed fraction. How will you do? You just divide it. And what is the form to write? Quotient. This is divi divisor and this is remainder. So in this form we have to write whatever you get here. You have to write it in the front by which you will divide you have to write in the denominator and whatever you get as a remainder will be written in the top. So this pattern has to be followed. Now, 39 number, you have to write in the decimal form. This is given in the improper fraction, you have to write in the decimal form. So how did I get directly this number? Whenever there is a denominator as 10 or 100 or 1000 or whatever it is, what you have to do is, it is very simple, you just have to write 0 point after decimal since there is one zero so after one decimal place here yeah, this answer will come here you can see after two decimal so after two after point one two the number is in the second decimal place here also same thing after point two three two decimals two decimal places here it is thousand so one two three Three decimal places. Again, thousand here. Point one, two, three. Three decimal places. Understood? Or otherwise, if you didn't understand this, you can simply divide it. The answer will be there as it is. Now, it is given in decimal. We have to write in the improper fraction. This is also very simple. What you need to do? This is just the opposite of question number thirty-nine. Zero point six. It will be six by ten. Since it is after point one decimal place, so it will be ten. Two decimal place then hundred. Again, one decimal plus 10, three decimal plus 1000, again, three decimal plus it is 1000. So, this is very simple. So, I hope you all have understood this. So, please write down all this and you can also verify your answers. Later on, at the end of this chapter, I will give you the whole solutions list. And please try to do the next. Uh, 25 questions from question number 41 to question number 66 or 67, whichever it is, yes, 66 to question number 66. Please try it out at home. I will soon be giving the solutions of 41 to 66 as well. So practice mathematics daily and see if there is any doubt. You can also write down in the comment section about your doubts. So that's it. Thank you and have a nice day.